Hi, I'm Mark Schneider, and you're watching Schneider Classics, and today we're going to be working on my uh, 2018 Sportsman 450. So today, I'm actually going to show you a little something. I was having problems with her in the middle of winter. She didn't want to start because it was cold, and I thought the battery and the the battery started being weak. So, uh, as you can see, I got to rip her all apart. I ripped all this apart in the middle of winter, out in the snow right there. And uh, I just, no matter what I did, the battery was failing. So, I went and bought a new battery. And then it sat in my basement. Till now! But well, we also have a special thing. Uh, battery relocation kit. Normally, these relocation kits, because why, I don't know why, Polaris did for the 450s stick the battery at the bottom of the frame where all your mud and gunk gets up. That's what killed that battery. Um, it still works now, funny enough, but so you go and buy one of these battery relocation kits online on Amazon. I'll leave a link for this one. I got th this came to me in like two days. It was awesome. They normally go right here, right beside your big old wheel. But if you're like me and, uh, your uncle got caught doing too many wheelies with uh, taking some too much Tabasco sauce. You end up with uh, a space here because there's normally a compartment here, but my compartment's gone. So, and I just realized this, this battery location kit fits perfectly in there. Like, it's like it was meant to be here. So... It, the process is, I'm going to show you how to put this on, but the process is the exact same from uh, sticking it there with these two bolt holes that are already pre-built, like this is just a bolt-on battery location kit, to if you do a uh, delete and put this here. I think this summer also where they stick, in, I'm going to take some of these bolt holes and where they make a plate, just a steel plate to go here, so my license plate's not, you know... And not everyone's telling me every two seconds, hey, your license plate's falling off. I'm like, no, it's not. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, where they zip these off, bolt this this plate in here, which is it's really simple. Bolt it in here, get it done, get the, the wires going from where the battery normally sits all the way to the back here. And this is going to be our new battery spot. Now... I went, yeah, I went out and bought a brand new battery because, well, when we were testing in winter, this battery's weak. So this will probably turn into a lawnmower battery. Still works though, because funny enough, I couldn't get her for the life of me to start in winter. But right now, oh, show me wrong. She starts, no problems. You know, I was out here two days in a row trying to get this damn thing to work in the middle of winter. My guess is because it's fuel injection, not carb. This is something I like carbs in winter because carbs, you dump a little fuel into them. As long as your uh, plunger valve is still working, they work. Like they work no matter what. Fuel injection freezes and it doesn't want to work because it's electronically driven. Yeah, it runs no fucking, no problem at all. So we'll get this done up. You can tell by the couple lugs, because it's this in-series battery, one of my cells are dead. So she's having problems. So like I said, the battery will be good for like, if I got to start one of my tractor projects, which we'll do this summer. Because they're in here. And, oh. There's one we gotta rebuild. This one I have the engine for and everything. I just gotta pretty much put it back together. This one needs a transmission because the reverse. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm probably gonna test this transmission out, get it running a bit. Test the transmission off the transmission shop, maybe take it apart. If I can't get it rebuilt, then we're just gonna 
buy a new transmission because this one's pretty nice. Couple electric motors, push mower, fun stuff. But now let's work on this. All right, so normally if you're doing the battery relocation kit, you just put some bolts through here and do her up. Cause I'm doing mine inside here because there's normally a box here that's not. Uh, you take two half inches, you do one on the inside of this, you have to undo the muffler bracket. So I'm just done doing that. And then I'm gonna put those through here, these two holes through the bracket, do my little uh, seat c-clamp or whatever i can't think the name of it right now go through here bolt it on so we're gonna get that done right now i don't know what to say but every day feels like the same to me recently feel like the same days on repeat don't know how it became i've gotta say though that this ain't for me desperately i need some kind of release i don't care what in the form of but i need it quick yeah i need it strong something to take the edge of how i feel cause i feel like i'm wasting all my time this is not easy. The one benefit of having it out, you don't have to do this, but I like this. And it's almost like the right size. You see where this, this lip is? You could almost just like cut a square in the bottom of the box that's supposed to exist here and install this anyways and just silicone the crap out of it. Cause then your battery, your battery is fully protected. I'm just gonna get this tightened down and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. So I just went ahead and took the seat off. It's just as easy as you grab the seat from the back, you pull up, pull forward, and she just hinges off. So she's over there. Um, one, it's gonna be easier to run the wire along here in the body, especially if you take this panel off, which is just a couple, as you can see there, it's just a couple pull pins. You pull those pins out and she pops right off. It's real simple. Um, so I came in here through the back to undo that other bolt because it was just easier than reaching through the frame you saw. We're going to be running our power cable along here with the others. This is your, uh, this is your intake. So this is where all the air holds. That's funny. Look, factory, <laughs> factory zip tie. So my guess is in winter all this froze up and just they want to work with me. I shook my airbox actually. Oh yeah, she's got a bit of mud in her. She was just replaced before winter. You can tell I go mudding with this thing, so that's why you have to keep a filter. You gotta put a new filter on it, clean it, make sure it's done. Yeah, so I'm, my guess is the reason this wasn't starting in winter was all this froze up, which, whatever. I, I want to get an aluminum cover made. I almost wish I could just swap this backwards because I want it to come out the back and up for a snorkel. But the only reason for that is because I don't want to cut any of the plastic here so that's a future plan is to uh, modify the snorkel to come out the back probably this too come out the back that way because I, I don't want this to flood out because uh, I like going through mud that's why we're lifting the battery cable we're lifting all this stuff try and keep all this further off the ground she might in the future get a lift kit and whatever else, but we'll see. That's future, future modifications. So if you, if you haven't already taken off this panel, like I said, it's pretty easy. It's the two pop pins right there. You pop them off. 
and stick that on the side there. And then going in here, we got, you have to unbolt your coolant container. You know, leave it hanging just like I did. That That's always good. Um, get in here for the battery. She's a bit chewy. You can tell I haven't washed her because in winter I don't wash her because well, this is all from winter mudding and stuff. Winter it's too cold because if I, if I take the pressure washer to her, well, she'll just freeze up. So I don't want to. But now it's summer again. I'll probably I'll probably get the pressure washer out here and clean this pretty soon. But need to undo these two. Undo the battery bolts and take her out. Normally there's a I think there's a strap that goes over and clips in here. But mine's gone because I don't know. I probably took it off while I was working on it in winter. Because we want to install this thing. This thing is what connects your battery terminals together. So let's bring this over here. I had to figure out how that works. So yeah, looking at this, it looks like you can run like maybe two batteries off of this because you need two posts, but these don't connect together. So you have to run both, both your post off the battery and your post to continue off of this. But this just connects to this plate once you got her. How does it connect? Oh, like that, I think. Eh, some way connects to this plate somehow. Oh, there we go, like that. Cause this bolts on, on the inside facing the other way? Yeah, on the inside facing the other way underneath your coolant housing. Yeah, that makes sense. So as you can see here, I got the battery out. I found, the, I always find the easiest way is yeah, to have this panel off and then you can just pull her out. You also have to take off this intake here or whatever. It goes to something. You can see there, there's an engine mount. Uh, and if you ever have to deal with a spark plug, this, this wire right here, because this is your coil, or whatever ignition thingy, come all the way down here, and it's that blue socket in there. It's the worst spot possible. I might need to get that replaced. It's almost like the secondary oil refill is right there, which is horrible. <laughs> like, uh, this is so tight of an engine in here in this frame. Sometimes I just question it. These motors are awesome though. This is a like a, it's the same as the 500, uh, 500 CC. That's the Sportsman 450. So I don't, I don't really know what the difference is. I just know this is like a 500 CC engine. It's a lot of fun. It's I play around with it a lot, so it, it works really well. But now we're gonna get back to this. I'm gonna get this done up. So this is done up and everything. This sits like this in there. The windshield washer, you put your positive and your negative, and you put the, the two leads that come with the kit. You run these all the way to the back to your new battery location. So I'm gonna see about getting that done up. So everything's loosely in place, uh, except for this is fully tightened down because with the wires in place, it wants to move it around. I gotta tighten, tighten these wires down, the connections. Got the wire coming through here where the normal factory wiring goes, comes along here, right through here. I gotta zip tie all of this together. Zip tie it up. Go into the back here and it's hooked up to this battery which I will have to run the elastic cord over. But I'm thinking, I don't like that there's this much space in here because it's meant saying you can put a bigger battery in if you want. I didn't, I just went with the same size. But let's see that she has power. Will she start before I kick everything over? So I just got to tighten down the battery leads. This is the battery cable factory. 
That's the only thing the kit doesn't come with is a new battery cable. I laughed at from factory, it's just a bungee. So I'm gonna get all this done up. So we got this all done up. All the wires zip tied right in, tightened right up. All along here, and go into the back. Just disconnected the positive because when I was tightening the wires, you don't want an electrical current going through. I was stuck in a daydream and I've been this way ever since I was 18. Won't change me. I went to my feet hard, but keep going deeper. I'm lost in a daydream, daydream, daydream. If I had my own way, I'd break away from all uncertainty. I'd do me as a fool to the fool that thinks a fool in me. Absolutely, I got blue eyes, but sometimes the red. I don't think that I'd have been. But when I fly, I lie inside my head. Feel the old me just fading away into the background, and no one can see. I'm a prisoner inside my own brain, but I feel free. Why? I don't care what in the form of. But I need it quick, yeah, I need it strong Something to take the edge of how I feel Cause I feel like, cause I feel like I'm wasting all my time I'm stuck in a daydream and I've been this way Ever since I was 18, won't change me Right, it's just some of that we do to pass the time inside my mind. Recently, I feel like a goldfish. The more that I smoke this, oh shit, I think people are starting to notice. I'm not myself no more now.